In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the Arranger Track in Cubase. The Arranger Track is a very powerful feature that lets you arrange different sections of your track in a non-linear fashion. So meaning, I might want to stick different sections at different places. So I might have a cool little hook that I might want to start the song out with, or I may want to put that in the bridge, or I may want the intro to last one bar or four bars. And instead of copying and pasting and moving things around, you can use the arranger track. So here's how it works. First, what you do is you open up a new track and you add a ranger track. And then you got to label your different sections. So when I play back the song, Okay, so I kind of broke down the sections here of this song by the intro and the verse, and this is kind of the second part of the verse, and here's the chorus. So now let's say I wanted to make this intro longer. Okay, so you can see how these different sections are labeled, and all I got to do is click on them to add them into this arrangement section. So right now, section A is going to play one time. And if I want it to play twice, I just hit it twice, or I can just change this number to whatever I want. So right now I got it on four uh, for demonstration, and then let's say I wanted to go to, to uh, right to section C here, and then let's say I wanted to go to section B. Okay, so now when I hit play, So you can see in a non-linear fashion here, I'm jumping around my song at will, and it plays perfectly in sequence. So it's a very powerful feature when you're trying to work out what types of sections you want and what places go, you know, back and forth. Okay, and this section here is a stop section. Obviously, you can stop the playback. But these sections here are how quick, if you're just going to want to, instead of laying down an arrangement, you can play them and try things out before you dedicate it to this section here. So this will designate how long after you press a new section will it kick right in. So right now I have it set for the end of the loop. So as soon as this one section ends, it will jump to the next section in time. Now if I had it set on in one bar, in the next bar it will change. So let's try that. So you can see how it moves right on the next bar. Okay, so after you've decided this is the exact arrangement you want, you're going to want to flatten it. So here's the arrange editor that pops up when you hit this, 
and it kind of shows you the breakdown of what's going on. Here's how you could create a new chain. So let's say, okay, I like that arrangement exactly how it is. And let's say you wanted to do maybe an extended mix. So you just simply open up a new chain and do the same thing again and make it again. So now you have different sort of playlists. Before you flatten it, you're gonna to wanna to look at these different preferences. When you flatten it, you can have it make into a new session in this new arrangement. And these are different names you could add to it. You could keep the arranger track and different little specifications that you can make before you decide to flatten. And then once you decide these are the choices you like, you simply choose flatten and it's going to now bounce out each individual track in the arrangement that we have arranged and open up a new session with that particular arrangement. So really powerful function, really easy to use, and I hope you enjoy.